Now it seems uh, South Korea's efforts to put North Korea in the spotlight at a big diplomatic conference in Beijing this week was a success. Pyongyang took up a sizable portion of the event's joint declaration. Our foreign affairs correspondent Gwon Soa reports. In a declaration adopted by all of its 26 members, Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia, or SICA, strongly condemned North Korea's nuclear test earlier this year and the following string of missile launches and reaffirmed that its weapons program must be abandoned once and for all. I hope that SICA will play a special role in blocking advances in North Korea's nuclear weapons capabilities and in stopping North, Korea's, North Korea from conducting another nuclear test. South Korean Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-se called on his fellow foreign ministers to show leadership in thoroughly implementing UN Security Council's Resolution 2270. Chinese President Xi Jinping, in his opening remarks to the meeting, vowed to fully implement those sanctions. He touted China's efforts to deal with North Korea's provocations and asked other nations to push forward to bring about stability in Northeast Asia. We hope all sides will exercise restraint, do not provoke tension between each other. Instead, we should work together to bring the peninsula nuclear issue back to the path of resolution with dialogue and negotiation as soon as possible. Following a bilateral meeting on Wednesday with his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi, Minister Yun met on Thursday with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov to discuss the North Korean issue. During the talks, China and Russia expressed serious concern about North Korea's unpredictability and the development of its nuclear and missile capabilities. Minister Yoon extended his conversations on the matter with many other counterparts, including the top diplomats from Turkey, Thailand, Ukraine, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, reflecting South Korea's wish to have everyone's consensus on pressuring North Korea. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.